group of people in central Japan has prayed for their good health by being splashed with hot water. The ritual has been held at a Shinto shrine for hundreds of years. The annual event was held at the Eino Shrine in the city of Ise. A priest dipped bamboo leaves into boiling water and then splashed the water over the attendees. The hot water is believed to purify a devotee's body and soul and bring good fortune to those who've endured the heat. The event dates back to the 17th century. All of my family is in good health as we come to the event every year. Participants receive the bamboo used in the rite, which they then place in their homes. Twenty-third of November, twenty fourteen, Tokyo University, Kashiwa Campus, Kashiwa City, Chiba Prefecture, Japan.
6.6 マイクロシーベルトパワーです。1.64 マイクロシーベルトパワー。Authorities in Okayama Prefecture, Western Japan, have begun slaughtering about 200,000 chickens at a poultry farm after the H5 strain of bird flu was confirmed there. Operators of the farm in Kasaoka City reported on Thursday that about 30 chickens had been found dead since the previous day. Prefectural health authorities conducted genetic tests of samples taken from the dead chickens. The results show the presence of the H5 strain. Prefectural officials and self-defense force personnel began the culling early on Friday. They were deployed at the prefecture's request. About 650 people will work around the clock to complete the task. Officials say it may take three days. They banned the transport of chickens and eggs from six poultry farms within the three-kilometer radius. They're also restricting shipments from farms in a three to ten-kilometer radius. Authorities have set up vehicle inspection and disinfection sites within the 10 kilometer radius of the farm. The residents of Ota Ward in Tokyo took part in a disaster drill on Sunday. The number of foreign residents in the ward has increased by 20 percent to 19,000 in the past 10 years. The ward office held the event to show foreign residents how to deal with quakes. About 100 people from 14 countries and territories gathered at an elementary school. Fire officials and interpreters gave instructions on using fire extinguishers. The foreign residents also practiced how to contact the fire department and giving information about injured people. It was a good drill. I've experienced some earthquakes. I want to put into practice what I've learned when the next major quake strikes. Oto Ward will use a public relations magazine to inform foreign residents of the importance of disaster management and to urge them to take part in drills. The weakening of the yen against other currencies has been pretty good news for Japanese tourism. They've been welcoming a record number of travelers from overseas, and many of the visitors have been arriving from China. HQL's Chie Yamagishi reports. This duty-free shop in Ginza expanded and reopened a little over a year ago. It targets travelers from abroad. Staff can provide services in 15 languages. Foreign travelers have been flocking to the store. More than half of them are Chinese. Many buy brand name goods like cameras and watches. But they also come for things like rice cookers and beauty products. Customers from more than 70 countries have visited the store. And they've been spending more and more money because of the weaker yen. I bought many things, such as beauty products and electric appliances. 
，咩电器又有，产品。Made in Japan products are good quality. It's inexpensive to buy them here. The shop sales last year tripled compared to the year before. We want foreign customers to recognize Japanese services and products, and we'd like to boost sales. More than 13 million foreigners visited Japan last year. That's double the figure from a decade ago. 2.4 million of the travelers came from China. That's third on the list after Taiwan and South Korea, and a rise of 80% from the year before. This year, we expect to attract more than 15 million travelers from overseas, thanks to the weaker yen, expansion of tax exemptions, and more relaxed visa regulations for Chinese visitors. On Monday, the new rules came into effect. It allows Chinese tourists with lower salaries to get multiple entry visas. Travel agents rushed to the Japanese Consulate General in Shanghai. Japanese municipal officials are eager to attract travelers from China. They've been holding a series of promotional events. Next month, I'm going to Western Japan for the Lunar New Year. I want to see the historical cities there. This official from Fukushima Prefecture is making a pitch for the region. He talks about how accessible it is, and the beautiful scenery and hot springs. This is a good opportunity. We want to boost our PR operations and attract more and more tourists. This company publishes magazines that introduce tourist spots in Japan. The editors say Chinese travelers are becoming interested in out-of-the-way destinations. I think we'll see more visitors start to choose new-style tours, like going to Kyushu for a weekend to eat ramen, or going to Niigata for skiing. Japanese officials have set the target of attracting 20 million foreign visitors a year by the time of the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. The tourism industry is scrambling to seize the opportunity. Designers are showing off a host of innovations that consumers can use around the clock. They're unveiling new types of wearable technology that people can rely on, whether they're awake or asleep. We sent NHK World's Aya Hamashima for a look. This is the biggest expo of its kind in the world. About 100 companies have come here to Tokyo to show off their state-of-the-art technologies. Many designers have been hard at work creating devices people can attach to their bodies. Others are building things to make life easier for those on the four legs. The gadgets are not only for humans, they can also be used on animals. One company produced a special device that lets you know how your pet is feeling. People who created this color included a sensor that monitors an animal's heart rate, body temperature and movements. It sends data that shows how the animal is feeling to a smartphone or computer. Tech companies are hopeful wearable devices will be a hit in the health and nursing care market. Engineers created this computer to track the health of elderly people. <laughs> they say it can detect sounds such as laughter, talking, and coughing, then send information to people far away. Many firms are showing off products that are part clothing and part technology. Designers say this shirt tells people how they breathe in their sleep. Check this out. The people who created this robot say users can make it move exactly as they do. They say it's all in a fabric. The material can take a range of shapes 
and work in a whole variety of situations, even surgery. We are looking into its potential usage and possibly entering the health and nursing care market. Sponsors of the Expo say the market for available devices is likely to expand more than six times to $10.3 billion in 2018.